Hello and welcome to Storytime Tuesday. Today I'm going to share a book with you that I normally share with second graders in the spring and that is Ibo-Yo. It was written by Pete Seeger and it is based on an African lullaby and folk story. One of the reasons why I love this book is because it mentions the ukulele inside. So after I share the book with you, we'll talk a little bit about the ukulele and then we'll sing the song together. I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who played the ukulele. Around town, he'd go clink, clonk, clonk, clink, clonk, and the grown-ups would say, take that thing out of here. Not only that, the boy's father got in trouble. The boy's father was a magician and he had a magic wand and he'd go zoop zoop and he'd make things disappear. But he played too many tricks on people. He'd come up to someone about to drink a nice cold glass of something, zoop, the glass disappears. Someone doing a hard job of work, z Zip, up comes the father with his magic wand. Zoop, no saw. He come up to someone about to sit down after a hard day's work. Zoop, no chair. People said to the father, you get out of here too. Take your magic wand and your tricks and you and your son just get. The boy and his father were ostracized. That means they made him live on the edge of town all by themselves. Now in this town they used to tell stories. The old people used to tell stories about the giants that lived in the old days. They used to tell about a giant called Ibioyo. They said he was as tall as a tree and he could eat people up. Well of course nobody believed the story but they told it anyway. One day, one day the sun rose over the hill and the first people got up and looked out the window. They saw a great big shadow in front of the sun. They could feel the whole ground shake. Women screamed, strong men fainted. Run for your lives, I be yo yo's coming. He comes to the sheep pasture and he grabs a whole sheep. Yunk. He comes to the cow pasture, he grabs a whole cow. Yunk, men yelled, grab your most precious possessions and run, run. Just then the boy and his father woke up. Hey, Pa, what's that coming over the fields? Why, son, that's Ibioyo. Oh, if only I could get him to lie down, I could make him disappear. The boy says, come with me, Pa, and he grabs his father by one hand, and the father gets the magic wand, and the boy gets his ukulele, and they run across the fields. People yelled, don't go near him. He'll eat you alive. And there was Ibioyo. He had long fingernails because he never cut them. He had slobbery teeth because he didn't brush them. He had stinky feet because he didn't wash them and matted hair because he didn't comb it. He raised up with his claws, but just then the boy whips out his ukulele. Ibioyo, Ibioyo. Well, you know, the giant had never heard a song about himself before, and a foolish grin spread over his face, and the giant started to dance. I be oh yo, I be oh yo. And then the boy went faster. I be oh yo, be oh yo, be oh yo. I be oh yo, I be oh yo. Keeps getting faster. And the giant got out of breath and he staggered and he fell down flat on the ground. 
Up steps the father. Zoop. People looked out their windows. He's gone. Ibi Yo-Yo's disappeared. And the people ran across the fields and they lifted the boy and his father up on their shoulders and they say, come back to town, bring your ukulele. We don't care anymore. And they all sang, I be yo yo, I be yo yo, I be yo yo, I be yo yo. And we'll keep singing it a little bit with the ukulele. So hold on one minute. The ukulele is a member of the string family. It has four strings. The ukulele originates from Hawaii. In fact, my ukulele came from Hawaii as a gift from my sister and brother-in-law. Did you know that the ukulele is closely translated to a Hawaiian word that means jumping flea? Pretty interesting. And one other interesting fact, we actually are mispronouncing ukulele. It should be pronounced ukulele. Did you know that Elvis Presley played the ukulele in his biggest hit movie, Blue Hawaii? And the last interesting fact is that George Harrison of the Beatles believed that anybody who played the ukulele was crackers. He was calling us crazy. I guess that means I'm a little crazy at heart. Now, if you remember from the story, Ibi Yo-Yo loved the song about himself. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sing it a few times. We're gonna start maybe with a medium tempo, I'd say maybe Andante, and then we'll sing it a second time, and we'll move up to Allegro, which means fast, and then everybody's favorite tempo is Presto which is very fast. So we'll sing it three times, getting faster each time. the story of Ibi yo, yo As I said earlier, it's one of my favorites to read and to sing along to. You might be excited to know that there's actually a sequel to Ibi yo, yo called Ibi yo, yo Returns. Don't be surprised if maybe I do a special video this summer and I share that book with you then as well. Have a fabulous Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow for Wacky Wednesday. I had a special request for the theme of tomorrow's Wacky Wednesday video, so tune in to find out what it is. Goodbye.